Hey darlings, it's Brandon Say, and welcome to another gay video. Yay! Ding! So, in today's gay video, we are going to be talking about the Jeffree Star Skin Frost and the Lip Liners. Finally! I know, I've had them for almost a m not even a month yet, but, or maybe, yeah, almost a month now. And I have only played with some of the lip liners so far. Um, I wanted to do them on camera, but I also wanted to test a few of them out to give them a real good test. So, I also have some other new makeup products that I was so lucky to get for testing purposes for free. Um, so I do have some milk makeup, some milk setting powder, and some milk foundation that we are going to be trying along with, I've had this, it was in a video a couple videos back, but my ColourPop No Filter Foundation, or concealer, I've been loving this stuff. So, let's jump into it. I have a new Huda palette, so I bought three of these, um, just check my Instagram to see which other ones I got, and let's jump into this makeup tutorial, I guess, yeah! Oh, if you don't know who Jeffree Star is, he is a super YouTuber, makeup phenomenon, god, goddess. Um, I love him so much. I love all his products. I'm a Jeffree Star whore. So, anyways, um, if you know about his skin frost and his new lip liners that he just recently launched, um, he said they were coming out. He, all the drama was... He said that he had them, but they were in customs overseas. So, in all in all, it took 30 days, almost 30 whole days, for these to get to me after I ordered them. Um, myself, along with most of the internet and people who bought them, were, needless to say, upset about it. But we finally got our products, and here they are. I have actually tried two of the lip liners so far, um, just because I wanted to give them a fair trial run. I didn't want to just try it on for the video and then say they're good or not. So I've actually worn Weirdo as a lip liner and eyeliner. Um, it does work fairly well, um, but we are going to dive into that in a little bit. Um, as well as one of the newer Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. Um, so I bought this Amethyst, yeah, the Amethyst one, and then I also picked up two other ones. If you wanted to see which two I got, go over to my Instagram and leave a little purple heart emoji so I know you're from the video. Um, anyways, let's jump right into the makeup. I already did my brows because... If you're a follower of mine, you know I suck at my brows. I've been trying to perfect and get better at my brow grain. I have not perfected it at all in the slightest. But they're a lot better from, let's say, 10 videos ago. So, I'm really excited to jump into these. And let's get this on my face. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to throw in. Here is me opening and unboxing of my Supreme Skin Frost and Velour Lip Liners. So, I'll just put a little clip in here real quick for ya.
If you liked that little video of me opening them, um, if you like those unboxing kind of videos, leave me a comment down below and I will try to do a longer clip it next time. But, so let's start with my eyes. Um, I'm using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I just go in with my finger and then all I do is pat it on my eye and kind of just blend that all out up and about all around you could use a brush with this but I prefer to use my finger and just do that to both eyes so they're nice and primed and then get into the colors all right so after your eyes are primed you are going to go or I am going to go into the Huda Beauty obsessions palette and I'm going to take this lightest color right here tink 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 and I'm going to start by blending it all in my corner V crease area, packing that in, and then I will blend her out in a V motion and then do that on both sides and I'll be right back. You have blended that into your outer V in your crease area. We are going to go back into the Huda palette and take this bottom deeper purple color right here and we are just going to place her right in the outer corner right here and then build her up into the crease right below here just to deepen her all up so do that on both sides and we'll be right back have her blended out in the corners like that you can go back in with that first brush with whatever's left over on it and just kind of buff over that just to make the blend nice and seamless. Both sides, make sure they're nice and tight, looking kind of something like that. Looks cute. Um, next, before we do anything else with the eyes, because I am a messy boy and I am going to use the Jeffree Star Weirdo lip liner right here as you can see the tip of it I have used it a couple times um, so I have used it it does work it stays um, once it dries it is on so let's try this again right now that is Weirdo all in the waterline and my upper waterline. Um, it does work. It is nice. It's creamy, but I do tend, I do think it tends to flake up, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if it's just how I'm using it or if my eyes are too watery, but it just kind of flakes off every once in a while here or there, little places. Um, and the reason why I do my eyeliner before I finish my eyes is because my upper waterline is really sensitive and I usually like blink and the liner touches the lid of my eye. So that is why I usually do eyeliner first and then I finish my eye up. So after you have everything like this, we're going to go back into the Huda palette and I'm going to take this middle color right here and we are going to put that all over the inside like this. Can you see that? That's a little too dark for what I was going for. 
So we're going to switch and go in this top color right here. And we are going to, where is my setting spray? Here she is, she's brand new. So this is the regular Urban Decay setting spray. I bought this one with my own money. And this is the normal all-nighter setting spray. That is a classic. Everyone loves it. You should love it. Um, we are going to spritz the brush. So, spritz your brush. Go back in with that super light shade on the top right there. And then add her all the inside of your eye. Bam! Something like that. After you have that done, it should look like this. Something like that. We are going to move on to the face. So, as well as the Milk Cosmetics that I got for training purposes, I was also lucky enough to get a Real Beauty Blender. So, I got this free for testing purposes. Um, it also comes with the little cleanser in here so I can try her out, see how she works. I have used, like, the Sephora brand. I've used, like, just regular drugstore knockoff beauty blenders. So I'm super excited to try a real beauty blender out along with this new Milk Foundation. This, I've tested it, I've swatched it, and I don't know, I just love how it feels. I cannot wait to try this all over my face. So I'm going to add a good amount right there. I am a boy, so I do have a lot of face to cover. And we are just going to blend this milk makeup blur liquid into my face. And we'll be right back after bouncing. Now, um, after bouncing that in, first the Beauty Blender is super, super soft. So the actual Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender, is so good. I love this thing. It is so soft. Also, this foundation feels so light on my face. Like, when I first put her on, I was kind of worried. I was like, ooh, did I do way too much? But no, it feels light. It feels airy. That's a good test. If you can, like, move your face and you can't feel it in your, like, crease lines, your, like, smile lines, that's a good feeling. So... The Milk Foundation Liquid Blur is approved by Brand Lance, I guess. So we will also see how it lasts throughout the day because I am going to work after this. So we're going to try the concealer under my eyes, see how this uh, ColourPop concealer mixes with the Milk Foundation. And then we will set her with my new Milk Setting Powder and see how these babies mix together. So, uh, with my concealer, what I like to do, other than just normally opening her up, I like to dab one, two, three, one, two, three. I like to do right down my nose, a little arrow like that. Bam. So, that is all that I use when I do my concealer. I sometimes will use it on the tips of my brows to carve my brows out too, but today I think they look pretty snatched. So I'm going to be using the tip of my new Beauty Blender and bouncing this all in. Bam! So concealer and foundation are down. Now we get to open the Milk Setting Powder. I am super stoked about this. I have really, really high hopes for this. Um, I was about to buy the Laura Mercier one, and I finally noticed that I got this. So, let's try her out. You open her up. She comes with a little sponge right there. She, I love it because it has this cap. So, you can close it so if you knock her over, 
it won't spill all over the place. Um, blur, set, go, comes like that. The little protective top comes off and it is a cushion. So I'm assuming you push down like that to get the product out and then just kind of set your face. But I am going to be using one of my Luxie brushes. So this is my Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush, but I'm going to be using it for my powder purposes. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but it's super powdery. So maybe I can do this. Yes. So, got some powder right here in the lid. Going to coat that on my brush. And then going to really set my under eye because that is where I get the most creasing everywhere where I did my concealer. After we baked so after we just powdered our face and baked our under eyes we wiped everything else away we are gonna go back into the amethyst palette and we're gonna go in with a tiny tiny little slanted brush right there and we're gonna go in with this bright dark purple and just smoke her out ever so slightly underneath the black, underneath our eyes, being careful not to drag her too far down. You see how my eye squints right here? I don't want to bring her down any farther than a third of that little like eye indention that I have. So we'll blend her out. Tap, 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 tap. And then barely, barely go under your lash line. Just to give her enough color to say, Ooh, I'm different than the top, baby. I'm a big old power bot. No. So once you have the bright purple right under your lower lash line, the eye look is complete. Ding! This is just my normal contour and blush routine. I go in with my Tarte Tartist Pro Glow To Go palette, which is this really pretty three palette. You get two highlighters and a contour shade. And the contour shade in this guy is perfect for people with skin tones like me, light to very light. Um, and then I go in with my Pacifica Coconut Blush Duo, um, Beaming and Tender Heart. I usually go in with Tender Heart, which is this darker blush right here. I just think it looks the best with my skin tone. So I'm going to contour and blush my face up and contour and your blush is laid down to slay bam get it girl get it girl get it get it so after it is laid down and slayed we are going to jump into the lips first before we get into the highlighter so this is one that i have not used yet the celebrity skin lip liner so they do look like this right here. I took the little paper off and put it at the bottom, just like everyone was saying online. Um, kind of open her up. Bam, right there. Never been used, never been kissed. So we are going to line our lips with this one and then use the Celebrity Skin L Velour Liquid Lip over it. So... Let's get into her. So, when I used the Weirdo lip liner, it was a little crumbly. 
Um, but Calabasas was not. Calabasas was amazing. Um, it just glided on really good. Everything about it stayed. It was a little bit darker than the lip ammo that I used with it. Um, it was just amazing. I loved it. So I have really high hopes for this nude celebrity skin. I am going to line my lips. So here is celebrity skin lip liner all by herself on my lips. What you think? I think she's very cute. Anyway, so that was that. Now we're going to put the liquid lip over it. So you just kind of bang it up a little bit. Mix her all around. Pull her out. And go to town. There she is. So we have Celebrity Skin Liquid Lip. And lip liner. Bam. We'll let that dry, the liquid lip, and we'll move on to the star of the show, the Supreme Frost Highlighters. That is stunning. I really hope it's showing up on camera like it is in person, but something tells me it's not, so maybe that's a fail. Anyways, last little touches, we are going to darken up my little beauty mark right here. Bam! Ding! And then, just kind of shake up our extra large bottle of Urban Decay setting spray and bam! So I just added some IT mascara that I just got in my monthly boxy charm box. I love this stuff now. Um, it makes my top lashes look amazing. I don't know if you can tell, but they just look super full and thick and lifted. And then on the bottom, I did my MAC Cosmetics Extreme Dimension uh, mascara in cool down i believe it is yeah cool down do you guys remember these the mac cosmetics colored mascaras well you know your boy i bought them all so i did buy them all last year when they came out or the year before i don't remember it was summertime and i had money and i do have money to spend on my stuff so I have my Jeffree Star collection now, and I love it, and these mascaras are amazing though. I hope MAC brings them back in their colored versions, but the Jeffree Star Supreme Frosts and the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Liners are both Brandonce approved. Yes, you heard it first. They are... Brand on say approved! Ding! So, anyways, I hope you guys liked this get ready chit chat video with me. Um, exploring some new products that I got to test out. Um, I'm absolutely in love with everything right now. My life is just going amazing. Um, everything is just coming together so perfectly. <laughs> Um, if you know me and my backstory, I've come a long, long way from my tiny hometown where I came from. So, leave me any likes, comments, tips, or tricks. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys on my next one. Also, leave me a comment if you guys want a room tour, a beauty room makeup tour. Um, I've been getting some questions about that, so I've been thinking of doing a makeup room video, so if you would like to see that, just leave me a comment down below, and I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye! Love you so much! Goodbye! Ding!